Most people think of New York for the hustle and bustle of big city life, but nestled in the heart of the East River, there lies a hidden gem. Today, we'll show you around Roosevelt Island, possibly the city's best kept secret. All right, Miro, you grew up on Roosevelt Island. Why is this place so special? Oh my goodness, just take a look at any map. Point your eyes towards the center of that map. What do you see on that map? Roosevelt Island. That's all I'm saying. It's that simple. Literally, we're in the center of it all. Imagine the best city in the world, and then imagine the center of that city. It's not Times Square, it's Roosevelt Island. Now, I think the funnest part of getting to Roosevelt Island is taking the aerial tram. This has turned into a bit of a tourist attraction, but it's so worth it. All right, first time tourists taking this, where do you line up? If you're facing northwards, you go towards the other door, and then you hook a quick right to see what you want to see and what you need to see. I'm always amazed that this costs only, you know, 290. This really does make you feel so small. This is the apex of the ride. I think this is probably around 100 feet or so, if not more. All right, team, well, welcome to Roosevelt Island. This is your first step in the new world. Miro, for those who don't know, is Roosevelt Island part of Manhattan, part of Queens, its own universe? What are we talking about here? I like that it's own universe, but technically it's part of Manhattan. It's physically connected to Queens via the Welfare Island Bridge, or you can say the Roosevelt Island Bridge, but this is its own microcosm. Break down the uh, geography for us. I mean, this is a really small island, right? Mm -hmm. I'd say the lengthwise from north to south is just under two miles due to the extensions on both ends. Widthwise, let's say around eighth of a mile, I'd say. How many people live here? So so that's under question right now. I would imagine it's around 13 to 14,000. Let's say under 15,000. There's buildings in Manhattan that feel like they have more people than this. <laughs> Outside of these million dollar views right here, what are some of the, the unique things that living in Roosevelt Island gives you? The location more than anything, the tranquility that the location as well as the scenery provides as well as the transportation to get to the island. And ultimately, the security here. You're living on an island, so. And you have your own security force? We do, yeah. We have the beautiful PSD department, the public safety department, and they do a phenomenal job. So there's not much crime here? Not too bad, I'd say. I mean, I'm sure there's crime, but I don't see it ever, pretty much. This is sort of trippy because we see the Queensboro Bridge on one side and then it feels like it bends to the other. Yeah. I will give Roosevelt Island a lot of credit. You got views for days. I'd say views for years. You see the chaos of Manhattan there and you see traffic and I hear a siren and then look where we are. Not a soul in sight and just chill. This entire park was renovated maybe a couple of years ago by RIAC in order to make it this island less susceptible to flooding when Superstorm Sandy rolls by. You know, when you're driving on the FDR and you turn to your right, like I always pay attention to the old smallpox hospital here. And many people probably have no idea what this is, although I do think it's one of the most interesting things on Roosevelt Island. I mean, these ruins are so unique. You, at nighttime especially, you will see this place all lit up looking ghastly. No trespassing. Now, I imagine this is the dream of many urban explorers. When I was a little younger growing up on this island, I'd hear some stories here and there about certain fellas going inside and where maybe they shouldn't have gone inside. <laughs> All I know is if I was in there as a kid and I heard a branch break, it would terrify me for life. And this whole island was named Roosevelt Island because of FDR to show that you know people can people can persevere through their through their disabilities. I've actually never I've never seen this statue before. It was so recently completed. Interesting. Here is a beautiful lawn. So this is symmetry. This is what Louis Kahn had in mind. This gives me Washington DC vibes right here. Like exactly. we're at some kind of big memorial, which, yeah, which we are. Which we are. And here we've got the island's namesake, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. The man that got us through World War II. They call this the room. That they do. What's the rent here? <laughs> I think if this was an apartment, we'd be talking about $100,000 a month. I don't know. Yeah. You see this enclosure over here? The shelter for animals here. There's a bunch of cat houses here. The geese come by, raccoons sometimes, and other local wildlife. I was just telling John over here that you are one of the local heroes of, of this island. Oh my god, thank you. She's the caretaker. How many cats do you have here? 
24 cats. Yeah. Fun fact, I think I've seen more cats on the island so far today than people. Yeah, the preferred method to get around Roosevelt Island, get a city bike. I've actually never done this here before. I mean, these are electric and literally this is zero effort. You feel like it's five degrees colder on this island because you're surrounded by water on all sides? Yeah, I mean, water has a high heat capacity, so it maintains temperatures much better. Cooler in the summer, but also colder in the exactly, winter. Exactly, it's perfect. I didn't, I didn't even know the Roosevelt Island Bridge existed until right now. <laughs> when there's the UN in session, all Boat traffic is and barge and ship traffic is redirected yeah. this way. Huh. I would wake up to this every day, and this is my most favorite building probably in New York So this City. is your favorite view in New York right here? Yeah. I grew up to this. When she's angry, I'm angry. So when she's feeling like everyone's using her too much, then I feel the same. Every video needs to have the local taking me to their rooftop for beer. Something I could definitely get behind. Yeah, especially in New York City, the capital of rooftops. I had rooftop access for nine years. I miss it. It's true. Oh my goodness. I miss it a lot. <laughs> Cheers. To beers. Beers in Roosevelt Island. To that. I yeah. lived in Manhattan Island, and you don't realize that you live in an island unless maybe you're living on the edges by the water. But here, you're reminded you're on an island every second you go outside. I mean, yeah, this place is literally where you want to be. This is where you raise a family. This is where you grow up. This is where you grow old. This is literally paradise. This is where you want to be. This is the kind of view that most people wouldn't appreciate because we're looking at all these bridges that most tourists definitely have never heard of and even some New Yorkers. And you got them all in a line on the East River. All right, so we have our picnic to go, and uh, we're walking right now on Main Street, which probably only locals know about here, right? Not tourists? Yeah, tourists generally don't, don't make it up here for some reason. Yeah, basically this is the Main Street retail corridor. Okay. This is where all the locals go to eat, to socialize, for anything really. So you got pizza, you got ramen, you got Mediterranean. Normally I say that neighborhoods feel like a city within the city. Yeah. I'm gonna say that this feels like a town within the city. Right. We you have... only have 13,000 people living here. Yeah. All right, so here's the million dollar question. If you get Uber Eats, does it come from Manhattan Island or from Queens? Imagine like this poor guy on his electric scooter or <laughs> motorcycle. Is he gonna take the tram? Is he gonna go over the Queensboro? So the poor guy will take the Queensboro and then take the welfare island and then get lost. So this, this is the million dollar view where you have your lunch. My shawarma wrap. Yeah, my shawarma Let's bowl. probably the nicest place I've ever eaten a chicken shawarma in my entire life. The nicest view. I wasn't expecting this to actually be one of the best shawarmas I've had in New York City. It's like so random. Are you serious? And you've never even been there before. Yo, it's that good? Oh, I look forward to, to this bowl now. I think crossing from that island to this island, my blood pressure's gone down. Really? There's just definitely something more relaxing in the air here. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to think so. You ever feel isolated here? In the best way possible. So you you appreciate the isolation? Heck yeah. That's why I go upstate like every weekend, man. You can't be living. You don't shit you eat. Oh, excuse my language. <laughs> of course, yo. Everyone needs a breath of fresh air. I think this is one of the most fascinating buildings on the island called the Octagon. Now, this was built in 1834 as the New York City Mental Health Hospital, also known as a New York City lunatic asylum. Ironically enough, this has turned into luxury apartments where some may say you're a little crazy for paying $3,500 a month for a studio, but you be the judge of that. Mira, who lives here now? Fair bit of uh, UN related people, perhaps delegates or staff of delegates. How nice are the apartments? As nice as it gets. <laughs> Gets you a pool, a gym, and everything. Like, and a bus that runs express all the way to the train station. I mean, a free bus per, at that. Something that we can't look at is Blackwell's Penitentiary, which was built on Roosevelt Island in 1832. So this is a big prison, which was what came before Rikers Island. We look at who lived on Roosevelt Island in the 19th century. Uh -huh. You've got prisoners, you've got smallpox patients, you've got people in a lunatic asylum. Oh, it was like New York's version of Australia, I don't know. It's got a yeah. dark history. I've never thought of it this way, but yeah, yeah, I guess it has. I mean, 
Thankfully, times have changed, and those people, they had some issues, but maybe we should have understood them a bit better, yeah. or they could have received better care. I mean. And speaking of uncovering bad conditions, Nellie Bly famously went undercover in her world-famous book, 10 Days in a Madhouse, based off this octagon right here. I, every time I've come to Roosevelt Island, I've always made it a point to go to the northern tip to see this lighthouse. Mm -hmm. why, yeah. do you th why do you think people should come here? This is one of the goals, man. You go to the south, you go to the north, you know? Designed by Renwick as well. Same guy that did the, the smallpox hospital, as you call it. I call it the Renwick ruins over there, but they renovated this thing and now it's looking presentable. And it's like, I consider it the beacon of hope, you know, like around the island at least. I mean, I see a door. Do they ever open it up to the public? Never, I don't know why. That'd be amazing. To get, I would love to get up there. Me too. Look at this. Yeah. This is my preferred side. I prefer Queens over Manhattan any day. That's a story, right? Yeah, that, that is a story, yeah. So that's for preferred side, the Queens side. The, uh, the best $20 cocktails that money can buy. Oh, I hope so. So this is the Panorama Room, part of the Graduate Hotel. I'll be honest, I did not expect Roosevelt Island to have something like this. Right, nobody expects it, you know. Nobody expects Roosevelt Island. I have to say, of all the things we've done today, this is the most Manhattan part of Roosevelt Island right here. And I'm not complaining. Yeah. This is probably the one place that would get a lot of people from Manhattan Island over here just for this view, because it is unique. I'm not used to seeing the skyline from this angle here. You're not going to see the city in the city. You're going to see it from outside the city. So whether it's Jersey, Queens, yeah. Brooklyn, whatever it may be, Staten Island, yeah. Bronx, man, it looks better from the outside than it is in the inside. Our little insider tip, you can take the tram in, and you can take the ferry out. That's what we're gonna do. I mean, the ferry is never a bad idea. I was saying Roosevelt Island looks good from every angle, even when you're not on it. 360, the one piece of tranquility in this world is that island. Now that you've seen one of New York's best kept secrets, I wanna show you another, the NYC Ferry. For just $4, you're gonna get some amazing sights that boat tours costing hundreds of dollars would show you as well. Watch this video next.